Hello again, friends. For this apron, after cutting, I went straight into transferring markings. I decided to leave off the ruffles at the shoulders for a more streamlined look. I wanted something between Victorian and modern. I marked the pin tucks and lace insertion with a chalk pencil instead of a friction pen, since they would be ironed multiple times before I was finished with the markings. Then I started pressing, pinning, and stitching the pin tucks on both the apron front and the bib. After that was done, I installed the insertion lace on the apron front and the bib. When cutting the fabric from the back of the lace, make sure you don't cut the lace. The fabric was then pressed away from the lace. Then it was stitched down as close to the original stitching line as possible. I 
then pressed the top facing of the bib down to meet the upper edge of the lace insertion, and hand stitched it down. The outside edge of the straps were then stitched together, and the inside edge stitched to the bib. Much seam allowance pressing was done. The pocket placement was marked with a friction pen. Then, the pockets were marked, pressed, and prepared for the lace, and the lace trimmed to size.
and the lace was stitched on. Then ribbon to cover the raw edge. Then the edges were pressed under, and the pockets were sewn to the apron front. Also, a fun game of bobbin roulette. The apron front was then gathered to the waistband markings and stitched in place. After that, I finally got around to hand stitching the inside edge of the straps closed. Then, matching the notches, the bib was pinned and sewn to the waistband. I pressed the seam allowances of the waistband to the wrong side. Then stitched the tie-ins and clipped the seam allowances and turned them out.
I then pressed them flat. Next, I sewed on the buttons. Would it be one of my videos without cookies? I don't think so. The tie ends were then pinned to the ends of the waistband and stitched on. The waistband was folded, pressed, and pinned into place. And hand stitched. Then the bib was tacked up to the waistband at the sides. Marking the buttonholes came next. And the stitching. and the markings pressed out. And cut. And the apron is done.
I think it turned out quite lovely, but I'm very glad it's finished. Donna says she likes it too.